I was, I was setting up my uh, match actually really quickly. That's why. No worries, no worries, man. Just uh, yeah, you have a uh, you have a match to do, so don't worry. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you later. I doubt. I mean, I I could DQ myself if you need me to commentate or anything like that. Nah, it's okay. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. Concentrate on your match. Okay, up for the first match right now. It's going to be uh, Kakiru Togo against Hikaru-san. Poseidon. <laughs> sadness by <violin. laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? It, not, not the sadness by Lin, no, Poseidon-san. Ah, Poseidon-san is like that. Ah, so that's why Takarin-san is going to be able to get out of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. A big counter from Kakiru Togo-san right there. Just sent Hikaru straight up right next to the, uh, well, right next to the corner right there. He has Hikaru exactly where he wants him. Very nice jump back. It unfortunately traded with uh, Kakeru-san's possible 5k, I believe. Okay, here we go. Very nice 2d right there. He's gonna get the 6 HS and very nice burst bait right there from Hikaru. Okay, the onslaught is starting from Kakeru-san. Unfortunately, the, the 5 HS whiffs and uh, enables Hikaru to actually uh, try, uh, well, uh, fit a counter hit right there and very nice grab from Hikaru right there. He takes the first round. Let's see how it goes. Okay, very nice. Zam Zamariyuki, was it? Yeah, I think it's Zamariyuki, I think. Okay, again the Beyblade. He got Takiru Kogo right in the corner. He's gonna get the six HS into a a, uh, a wall break right there. Ah, this is going to do a ton of damage again. He got to find the opening. And unfortunately, he doesn't finish his... Uh... Oh, I think this one is not going to hit. Yeah, okay, here we go. Very nice punish from Kakeru right there. Oh, he's going to get a full punish with the RC. Oh, and I think this was a... Nah, this was definitely... This was definitely a... Um... To the second match, it is going to be to Hikaru to try to find... No, it's going to be Kakeru's son who is going to be... Uh, to have to find a way to... Yeah, already Kakuya-san was forced to burst right there, a very early burst from him. And Hikaru is really on the onslaught right there. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, Kakuya-san really is uh, struggling to find a way out of the corner right there. He finally makes it out, but at the uh, cost of a lot of health down right there and just right there. Thanks to the close S, Hikaru takes it. On to the possible final round. Ah, here he goes, Amariyuki. Ah, and again, a, ah, that was a big counter hit right there. Kakeru san again in the corner. He really has trouble imposing his, ah, his his uh his game right there. It's really really hard for him to get out of it. Oh, okay. Here, oh, and here. Oh my God. Kikaru doesn't let anything flow, man. Anything. Very, very strong statement from Hikaru and very nicely done from Kakeru san. Just like this, he just switched places with Hikaru. Unfortunately, it wasn't a, it wasn't a hard knockdown. Oh, that was so scary. Yeah, a lot of whiffs on the 5S and again, he could have just found, just saw that Kakeru san was about. Okay, he's probably gonna take it. Very nice stuff from Kakeru san. Good stuff. He puts, okay, he saves. This round, let's see if he's gonna be able to take the third round. Okay, big 6P right there from Hikaru at the start of the round. Probably he was anticipating a, a 5S. Again, the Beyblade. Okay, almost got the whiff punish on this one a little bit too late. But then, yeah, but still it's extremely hard to punish it on reaction. 2S, 5HS, again 5HS, this time it whiffs. Oh, and a very nice jump in from Kakeru san. Hikaru commits to not, and that shimmy. Very nice jump from Kakeru san. He gets the full conversion right there. It's gonna be a big damage right there. Hikaru san still hanging on, and still no burst. And finally, finally, Kakeru san causes the burst. Let's see if Hikaru is gonna be able to switch things up. And Kakeru san just remaining very strong. Oh no! No! Really? The 6 p can uh, can punish the 5k from of, of Kakeru san Oh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Oh, very nice. Ah, this is gonna be it. And for your information, this uh, this player is TKR and his full name being Takarin. Actually, his full handle being okay. Takarin. Ikoe, arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu, Steven-san. Don't worry.
<笑>お政治でも、えー、とありがたくいただきます。<笑>ありがとうございます。OK、Hugo Takarin さん、already starting a... Vas-y, je te laisse le, le commentaire. On se fait un round d'un round. Comme ça, on, on se... On se overlap. Ouais, on peut aussi commenter... On peut aussi commenter tous les deux, il n'y a pas de souci. Vas-y, vas-y, vas-y. ラクス君、そうです、えーと、配信以外はもうそのまま、えーとまあ、勝った人が、えー、と申告して、えー、いただければと思いますので、はい、大丈夫です、私が、えー、といなくてもそのまま、えーとまあ、入力していただければと思います、よろしくお願いします。Okay, and just like this, here we go. A big command grab from Takarin, and he's probably he's not gonna take it actually. It's just gonna be a tad bit not enough in order to get this. Oh, and here you go, the world, and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Absolutely. Hopefully, uh, Poseidon would be also uh, equipped with that skill and be able to deal with uh, the pressure that Takarin has been showing. Unfortunately, Uh, as I said earlier, at、uh, full map, he is not able to do anything. He just has to bide his time and find an opening, which he manages to find. Very good. He makes it this mix. Again, an opening so many pokes. An opening that no one can just use. Eventually, he gets his overhead record blocked. But、uh, that doesn't matter. Because he was really leading up until that point where he gets opened up into. Axel Bomber. Now it's back to scramble situation, but this is not really a good situation for Chip because he really has to be in your face to be able to、um, scramble you to death. And unfortunately, Takanin didn't really care. He just kept on jumping and he dealt the final ball. And just like this, here we are possibly on the、uh, match point right there for Takarin. Poseidon is actually doing really a good job of just holding his own, you know. But yeah, Takarin is just right there and adapting like there's no tomorrow. Very nice blocked overhead right there. Fortunately for、uh, Poseidon, Takarin blocked it while he was in the air, so、uh, effectively making it impossible for. Uh, Takarin to punish him right after. Again, he went for the overhead, and this time around he got checked right away by a 5k from Takarin. Takarin just right here, right in the. Oh, and very bad percent. Oh no, and he wasn't able to finish his, his fromage. <laughs> so, it's just run up and grabbed. 
Oh, that's good to hear. I had a really, really great uh, game with this Nagaruki player, man. It was so intense. Oh, it was? <laughs> nice. Good to hear, man. Man, Okay. But I, I still, I still gotta get better at uh, spacing with the GM, man. Please, buy him. Dear Lord, give me a sword. Give me some range. Give me something better than a 2D. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, right at the start of the match. Like, Hikaru is doing a very good job of keeping Takari in the corner. Very big 6HS. It was on uh, guard, unfortunately. So, it was impossible for... Uh, for... Uh, or he could just to continue his onslaught. Here we go, very big command grab right there, and just like this, he takes the first round. Let's <clears throat> comment vite fait. So please feel free to comment it. You can you can go ahead if you want to. I'm looking between the two streams. I'm seeing a lot of stomp and I'm seeing a lot of counter hits. I'm seeing a hell of a lot of good Nagaruki pressure here. And I think that's going to be it, yeah. <laughs> exactly, that was really good cool. to automatic. Oh, okay, here we go. Very big start of the round by Hikaru. He was able to, uh, just like this, do the Beyblade and keep Takarin in the corner. Okay, very uh, nice. Yeah. Takane is doing a great job at spacing out um, Hikaru as well. Yeah. Really kind of taking his time with patience uh, with his progress. Definitely. Yeah, he's definitely being patient right there. And the patient is paying off because just now he was able to land the command grab. Okay, but what I'm really, really surprised about, not really surprised, but very like bewildered by is the the capacity of the uh, the, um, the performance of Sikaru to use his 6 speed to entire everything everything and anything and just like I said this it's commented here's curse he gets he gets jumped on unfortunately but he's been extremely like consistent in uh, in uh, like uh, well just entiring everybody nobody can jump on him very bad burst from Takani right there unfortunately oh yeah but yeah he used the uh, the down downfall how you call it rainfall so he was effectively safe afterwards. Okay, he's doing a really good job of keeping Hikaru out, actually. If there are already three people commentating, then it's useless for me to come. We can just uh, alternate now. Rainwater, yeah, I said rainfall, right? <laughs> rainfall! <laughs> he's a Pokemon. Rain, rain water, rain water. <laughs> a Pokemon. Okay. Axel, yeah, and Tari. T'es content, yeah, Axel. Okay, very nice yeah, combo right colors. there. Damn, that, that was so clean good. from Hikaru. Clean combo from Hikaru. And just like this, we're at the final round. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> we got some Axel fanboys in the chat as yeah. well. Entari, Entari is very... He loves uh, the Axel. He loves Axel, so yeah, it's definitely his his character. <laughs> okay, here we go. He loves British. He loves the British. Yeah, he does. He does. He loves uh, Axel Rose, actually, from... Uh, from Guns N' Roses, he's a big fan of him, so it's, it's just uh, just fitting. <laughs> Is the stream laggy for you guys? Um, on stream or Discord? Uh, on Discord. Discord, yeah, it's, it's a little bit laggy. Okay, um, I'll be right back. Like okay, just one second. Okay, hopefully it'll be a bit better now. Hopefully. Mm. Oh yeah, that's yeah, uh, quality improved as well, yeah. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's pixel. <laughs> perfect. <I'm down>. Exactly. <laughs> and here you go, you see he just did a 6p like right on reaction. That was really crazy from Hikaru. He's really on point with his uh his entire game right there. Okay. Yeah, especially against Axel, it's really hard to do to be honest with you. Exactly. So he has such a reach and you don't really know if he's gonna throw his aerial uh, like cycles or not? It's extremely hard to to determine whether he's gonna do it or not. But he kind of just <laughs> does such a good a good job at like guessing that he's gonna do it. Like, it's really really crazy. He cheats. The sword is not regulated. Re re regulated, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Wow! Uh, does somebody use boom yeah, in your face? And clone is also not regulated. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, good stuff from Hikaru, he's really doing a good job of keeping Takari in the corner. Takari just really just... Ah, the, he's overwhelmed by like the uh, the offense from, from Hikaru, it's really hard for him to do anything about it. Finally, he manages to get out of the corner, very nice grab, unexpected 
this is like, yeah, definitely was unexpected. Here we go, rainfall? Green water? Green water? It's called <laughs> rainfall. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, the thing where he jumps oh, back and he, he throws his cycle on the ground. Boom. Okay, here no, we go. I did. That's one for uh, <laughs> no worries. Luke to find out. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay, here we go. Ah, that was again an entire from Hikaru, man. He's not letting anybody jump on him or throwing any aerial attack. And just like this. Here we go. So, Juroku Daime against Goran. So, Goran is actually... Well, I fought against uh, both uh, opponents on... Uh, well, on uh, basically on uh, the Celestial floor. And they're both pretty crazy. They're both pretty... Uh, very, very strong, actually. I really don't know who uh, is going to take it, but we'll be seeing this in a couple of seconds right now. Very strong start from the uh, round by Goron right away, doing a counter hit and just escorting his opponent right in the corner. Juroko Daime right is being juggled right now, juggling for his life. Wow, the big, <laughs> big counter hit right there and very nice uh, grab read. Ooh, nice back dash. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty tight right there. Feel free to commentate if you want to. Oh yeah, you all know that the, uh, yeah. the secret is the, um, if you haven't watched the Ark, the Ark, Ark Reva America, pick Leo. If you, if you want to fight Nagaluki, you just need Leo. That, that is the secret. <laughs> Our Van Leaflet, as uh, things are going, because Goran is not letting up this pressure at all. Oh damn, it's already over. Hop oh, down. I'm looking at the wrong stream. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a big... Uh, big, uh, how do you call it? Hit. Good thing that he didn't get caught by the command grab. Here we go, Goron still on his onslaught. He's gonna, be, he's really just keeping the pressure right there. Nidai, Niju Daime was able to just go and jump straight over Goron, but just as we said, oh, very nice grab right there. He was able to switch places with Goron and finally get his onslaught going. Very big counter hit right there. Not letting up. Very nice command grab using the Roman cancel to slide over and just grab him. And here we go, just like this, Goran, not Goran actually, Juroku Daima was able to put one round on the board. Let's see how the final round will go. Okay, very big counter hit right there. Cheeky dust attempt. Leo is the answer. <laughs> Leo is the question, Leo is the answer, Leo is the almighty. Hope I can come back anyway. Okay, very nice grab right there from Goran. Good stuff from him. Okay, very nice escape from Goran. He just really just jumped over the 5 HS of Loku, uh, Juroku Daime and not getting hit by it. That was really, really well done. Okay, finally, a wall break and like this. Okay, very nice use of the Roman dash cancel, the Roman cancel into the 6P, but still, this wasn't any playing a different game and just oppressing his opponent with okay but just as I say this like Jules Daime <laughs> right away finds an opening and Stop forces the best I have to start I really have to stop like giving my input and my my you know my <laughs> pronostics because right away like it goes on the other way it just I'm, I'm so unlucky when that happens okay big overhead right you, there you from you gotta commentate for my games man you gotta, you gotta commentate the other way for my games <laughs> I should but very nice stuff oh, from uh, and Goran takes the first, the first round. Exactly. We can do one round, one round. Here you go. Hakuman, your, your turn to the comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, here we go. Goran is the elder, playing neutral. Nice bait for the grab and it's record time. Nice burst to avoid the wall break. But Goran is not laying out the pressure. Records into RC to keep it safe. And yeah, that, that pressure is so tricky, so tricky. And there we go, reset again. Nice, oh, beta, bro, again. Damn, Goron is not giving, oh, yeah, there we go. Damn, that was falling pretty bad for uh, Juroku Daime. We'll, we'll see how it goes in this one. Okay, here we go, Fukio right there to close the gap and very unfortunate burst right there from Goron because, well, for, for Juroku Daime because he was able to corner uh, uh, Juroku Daime uh, by using his burst, but since I said this, both opponents got out of the corner. And again, the confirm from Golan into the Rekka right there. The very big um, shimmy. He was able to open Juroku Daime. This is probably out. Yeah, okay, he didn't uh, have a uh, tension bar in order to get the hard knockdown, unfortunately. Okay, very nice snipe right there from 
Ah, from Goron and the conversion into the overdrive. This is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not gonna kill, but yeah, he's really on his last legs right there. Ah, he let it rip. I would have done the same to be really honest. It's very nice stuff. Yeah, it was blocked. Yeah, but he had two bars of tension, so definitely. If if you have like two bars of tension and you're about to die. Oh, and the reverse, so big statement from going on. You want, okay, you want, you want to, you want to throw random overdrive? I'm going to throw random overdrive without a second bar of tension, man. This was a strong statement from going on to say, yeah, you don't care, I don't care either. <laughs> okay, very nice confirm right there. Drill Kodami is going to get decent damage, going to get go down in the corner. Okay, big six HS. Ah, nice burst right there from Goran. Ah, that, oh, that, that hurt so much. That was a big counter hit. He even switched places. I don't know if it was intentional, but that was definitely cool to watch. Oh, okay, very nice. 6P, unfortunately, was guarded by uh, Judoku Daimet. Ah, oh, the bad snipe right there. But still, okay, using the, uh, the FD to keep Judoku Daimet out. Finally, Judoku Daimet gets in and gets the round. Nice. Just like that. Good stuff. <laughs> I was about to say Namasu, I hope you're not taking too many notes so when we play again. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody in the takes notes. <laughs> Used to it. Well, oh, okay, okay. Go. Yeah, you definitely should take note, yeah. Uh, this is definitely a, a very good uh, ramp player. You should definitely uh, take notes from him. Oh, and again, yeah, this is gonna do. Yeah, he's gonna roam and cancel. Boom! Oh, it didn't kill? Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, th thank you, the guts of. Um, of, uh, oh, that snipe, Beyblade. Your voice is, uh, your voice is. <laughs> sorry, another castle. I'm really sorry. I'm here to freak out people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next up, it's going to be Zage against Steven. Steven, a very, very strong uh, Sol player. He's actually tournament uh, level strong player. We have a lot of strong players tonight, actually, so. Definitely a, a big contender to take tonight's uh, uh, Brojo Cup. Zage is actually the second... Uh, he placed second uh, place, actually, during the, the previous Brojo Cup that we had, I believe. Or maybe it was the one before that. That, But anyways, he's a very, very overall well-rounded Nagori Yuki player. Let's see how it goes out. Just like this, Zage was able to keep Steven out and even like uh, mount a counter-attack against him. He effectively has Steven in the corner. That was a crazy bended bringer. I didn't even know which side it freaking landed on, but it just landed. And a big bended bringer counter hit. It would have led to a very, very um, big, uh, what's it called? A very big uh, combo if uh, not for the, uh, what's it called? If not for the uh, the, the, the burst from uh, from Zage. Oh, okay, here we go. But just like this, Steven is actually looking pretty good. Very nice attempt to try to snap. And like this, this is going to take it. Oh, or not, actually. Ew, the dust. Ah, uh, yeah, Zij is really... Yeah, Zij... Uh, Zij is... Oh, my... What? How? Chop. How? Chop. That chop. chop. That chop just comes out so freaking quickly. It's crazy. It comes out so quickly. My man Zij is a god. Yeah, he is, man. He's really, really strong, man. 6P beats Sol's 6H. Yes, yeah. It does. But actually, this was the HS, I think. It wasn't the S, though. The um, Sol's S, it was the HS. But it, it still beats it, since, yeah. Most 6S, uh, 6Ps beats uh, Sol's uh, 6S and HS. But yeah, definitely, it was, it was pretty crazy. But the the quickness, the the speed, the speed at where, uh, at where it, it comes out is, like, really crazy. Oh, the big 6HS right there. Uh, the, the big 2 HS right there, counter it. Okay, he got Steven in the corner. Okay, things are looking pretty good to Zij. He does have a life deficit. Ah, six HS again. Good stuff. Ah, and the Zamari Yuki to take it, man. And just like this, it's going to be a little better. Okay, here we go. The second. Ah, bah, je te laisse parler, Andy. Vas-y. Je te laisse. So, so, uh, hello everyone. First of all, yeah. <laughs> oh, but, uh, oh, je vois rien. C'est tout pixelisé, c'est en deux FPS. Ah, Ah, 
Ouais, pendant ce temps-là, cast, euh, cast et puis euh, on verra ouais. après. Euh... Ça marche. Ok, a big wall splat right there from Steven. He's gonna get. Okay, just like the Steven has a large life lead, but it's never over till it's over, especially with a character like Nagori Yukui with such a big damage output and a recovery put. Oh my god, that whiff punish was godlike from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, Steven. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, a big, uh, 5S counter hit right there. This hurt like a mother humper. Oh, that snipe from Zage, man, on points. That was crazy. Good stuff from him. Oh, and uh, yeah, a very nice read on the uh, tempted command grab from Zage right there. That was really well done from Steven. Just jump over and uh, punish it on the way down. Even though uh, Zage used the Roman cancel to uh, not get hit afterwards, but he did get hit. Okay, big counter hit right there. He wasn't able to get the follow up. Okay, this is gonna be some pretty decent damage in the corner, but thanks to the guts of uh, Nagori Yuki, Zage was able to uh, endure it. He still has just a little bit of life right now so it's gonna be extremely hard for him to uh it'll be extremely hard for him to oh, okay here you go the dust for the win just like nice this one. he puts one Please. yeah no. he definitely does all right here we go we start the set trade with the salami yuki was it was quite weird but it, it goes away and there goes the Beyblade discording his opponent right into the corner he yeah, managed to escape but no no you don't you take just take my throw no you don't I, you just take my dp <laughs> there we go back back in neutral yeah the, the hs the pretty much all every normal nagori yuki is like damn strong oh this 6p especially this 6 piece so he's like a trader you know yeah definitely okay, there we go get his wall stuck Gonna do a lot of damage thanks to this this wall break and then soul damage output in general. But there we go. Got a, a slight life lead to uh, to Steven's side. Managed uh, managed to use his burst correctly. Here goes the, the high pressure from the range. Nice escape with the gem H. Managed ah uh, sadly he didn't manage to get his uh, his RC combo. He get punished. There we go, he's just playing neutral. Nice 6P from Zij, holy hell! That 6P was what pretty What was that reaction, right? man? That was, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, Zij is on point on his, uh, on his, uh, entires. It's really crazy. And, okay, early burst from Zij. He didn't really have a choice given how much damage he took, like, right early on this, uh, on this round right here. Big just defend on the FD, which pushed Zij away. And he enables Steven to, uh, to get some momentum back. He's gonna get the wall break. Okay, Zij is, uh, standing on, like, just one. This is his, probably his last foot. If he doesn't get a non slot going out really quickly, the pressure is going to overwhelm. Here we go, left, uh, up, left, uh, up, uh, up, down, up, down. Pressure right there from Steven. Uh, okay, here we go. He found the opening. Very nice confirm, by the way, on the 2S. And, uh, and like, willing to continue and pressing 5 H and L when the dust for the win. Good stuff from Steven. Yeah, he understood the last time he saw that his opponent liked to use EFD, so he just inputted one uh, one less move so that the dust could reach and could grant him the match. I mean, yeah. the point. Yeah, we go counter hit on the bandit bringer. That means he can combo, force his opponent to use the burst. Yeah, now you're back in the corner, but still the, the far slash pressure is so <laughs> dense. <laughs> you can barely can do anything. But yeah, Ooh. damn, the, the Nagori Yuki's normals are, are like so strong. They are. Still, still Steven managed to get a full wall plat combo. The next opening shall be the death of Zij. And Steven has his full burst so that he can easily get the kill like he does. Like he damn did. good score. <laughs> GG. Okay, here we go. So this is the fourth match. And starting like this, both opponents a little bit less eager to open up and take things a lot more Ah, uh, but just as I say this, finally they find an opening and it's just an exchange <laughs> of various different, very damaging moves right there. Okay, here we go back to neutral. Okay, you can see Zeej trying to fish for something with his far S and... Oh, here we go, very... Okay, he finally forced the burst from Steven and right there has the health advantage plus the... Well, the fact that he still has a burst, a very nice confirm from him. Good stuff from Zeej. 
he takes the yeah, uh, I, I, first I, round. I have the feeling that actually Zidge, the, for the soul matchup, Zidge is like just 6p, bro, and he's got exactly. them right because you know the the 6p is really super strong against uh, against soul in yeah. every matchup. I mean, because he can beat like his var slash, his um, heavy slash, and his success. So so it's pretty strong. And Zidge always managed to find the good opportunity to use his um, his 6p against him. Yeah, got good, got good, good, uh, good conversions. Yeah, except his, his opponent to the corner. It's already almost the end of the match. If uh, his opponent manages to um, get rid of of Siege, let's go get manage to get the full conversion, good damages. Decided to not use the the super on that time uh, to break the wall. Could have get the Oki. Oh, the, there was a throw that's gonna uh, the, that missed punish. And not this time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, so early start of the run right there. Okay, a big opening from Steven. He brought Zade right in the corner and forced the burst right there. Good stuff from him. Okay, okay big bandit bring right there. Okay, very nice stuff. He went again for the uh, high mix-up after the bandit bringer using the uh, Roman cancel. Here we go, Beyblade. Finally, Zeech gets some leeway to get out of the corner. Okay, big gun flame right there. Ah, big 5S right. Okay, finally, he got the opponent. Steven is finally going to bring the heat. And you can see Zeech, like, uh, while well, trying to use ah, tension bar to push Steven out of corner, but unfortunately gets uh, caught by the command grab, just like this. Roman cancel into uh, wall break into the win. Good stuff from Steven. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Ah. Merci. We always we <laughs> the round just, just started. It's already he, the Steven's already at like minus sixty percent exactly. of health. Still, he doesn't care. Managed to get the the, the cool pressure thanks to the throws. Yes, all throw are really really strong. Once he once he had, he gets a, a bar of meter. Yeah. All right. Managed still managed to get the, the high pressure on the corner. Nice! The Zij enjoyed the, the bandit bring the air bandit bring out to escape the corner, but <laughs> Steven yeah, he just like rushes and put the, and, and does the wipe. Mon avatar puisse lancer directement dire il se demande à Jude. Luzaz wa Nisaki desu yo ne. Eto Luzaz no top 8 wa Sansaki ni narimasu. Ah, shitsu de shita kana? Ah, Ah, no problem. ニーミタイ。ルーザーズはえっとルーザーズは3先です。トパチからは3先になります。トパチからは3先です。はい。ノーディスンス。I forgot that uh Yamase was playing uh Jack. Oh, my favorite matchup. Just kidding. Oh, it's really nice. Je vais je vais m'occuper. Comment je vais m'occuper Il faut que je faut que je OK. Ouais, ouais, pas de souci. Yeah, just during that time, like Pura just managed to land the perfect on Yamase. Yes, because Jacko is really, really squishy. We all know, and and Salt deals a lot of damage. The pressure uh, from Pura is, is actually really insane. Yeah, there we go. He's already, he's already mid life. Yeah, forces to to use his burst. He's got the gun flame. Yeah, high pressure. It, it's already the end of the first match. We there we go for the second match already. Yeah, nice uh, pressure since the minion. Yeah, Pudia knows how to deal with the minion. Uh, I, I I guess he they already faced each other maybe. Uh, not not quite sure, but anyway, yeah. The Pudia's game plan is like to quickly send his uh, his opponent onto the corner, especially since it's Jacko and she can do uh, she she do she can do like barely anything. Um, uh, without her minions, so there we go. Starts the zoning, good zoning actually from uh, Yamase Gosan here. Yeah, there we go. Um, slowly chipping his opponent's health bar, but now that Pudea managed to get the opening leg, and the places are inverted, and his opponent is like ready in the corner and gets finished really fast by like two salt, two salt hits. <laughs> Okay, so just like this, yeah, Masai has a real 
a very, very hard time to contain the onslaught that player is really bringing to him right there. Big 5 HS on block this time around. Okay, he tried to juggle him over using the minions, but wasn't able to connect his, uh, his, uh, his hit right there. Okay, big 2S into 4, 2S uh, into 4S right there. Uh, big 5S into 4S right there. I'm sorry. Yeah. And here we go. The Bandit Bringer this is going to bring him the kill. Good stuff from player. Uh, but... Yeah, there we go. Already rushing towards his opponent. Yeah, yeah Yamase has to be really careful in the neutral. Nice, nice pressure. Nice one. Um, but his opponent has like... Good, um, good neutral. Nice 5 H towards the 6S of Souls. Yeah, and managed to get the combo. Um, pushes opponent right into the corner. Now, now it's time for the for the mixes with the minion. No, no. Puna said, just no. I don't. I don't want to be mixed. There goes the super that is just dodged thanks to a jump. Yeah, the super is actually a command grab. And there goes the super, the, the DP that the clean hit has been missed though. But uh, now he's back in the corner and he will probably get the high pressure. No, again, could have managed to escape from the corner and puts a big counter hit onto his opponent and managed to get the round point. Very nice stuff from player right there. Okay, early start of the round with the whiffed uh, Fafnir, here we go finally, Yamase gets out of the corner, might get something going, nice grab from Yamase, okay, she's got him sandwich right there, was able to find an opening with a low, again trying to fish for lows right there, but player not biting until he finds the opening himself, brings Yamase in the corner and does a lot of damage using a very optimized combo into the overdrive, into the hard knockdown, here we go, what will be his Okay, very nice yellow card. I never realized you said this. Yellow card and very nice air grab right there. Aerial grab from player and just like... Hikaru. Oh, so it's Hikaru against... Uh, I can't read that. <laughs> ah, it's uh, Hikaru against... I'm sorry. It's Hikaru against Goran. It's Goran? Goran, Goran. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. ah. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting game. You can commentate if you want. Uh, okay, and uh, I'd have to remember who's who, Goran's a land player. And Goran is really uh, making good pressure into the corner. Nice count here, Beyblade, just to get out of the space. My, oh, unlucky the 6 speed just whiffs. And Goran is, there we go, grab into setup, into plus frames, into, yeah, unfortunately, Goran is really good at adapting to, to play. I think it's definitely one thing you can notice. Um, Definitely utilizing uh, their space very well. Now each player just kind of uh, <laughs> testing the neutral. And what better way to test the neutral than uh, throw out your sword <laughs> to claim the neutral space? <laughs> and uh, red cheeky little load to close up the first round. Yeah, well played by Gorda. Hold on. Okay, let's see if. Uh, Oh my god, I can't read his names. <laughs> Goran. <laughs> so Goran is on the left, on the right, Goran, and Shikaru uh, is on the left. You can read the uh, yeah. you oh. can read the uh, the names that I put on top. Can you read them, or oh, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah, bit too yeah, pixelated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm commentating from my phone because I'm using this okay. for my phone. I'm using my iPad for the stream. It's all, no worries, it's all, no worries. It's always, uh, no worries. Crazy no worries. As you can imagine. So, uh, no worries. Well, as you can see, um, Hikaru has a, a lot of meter and a lot of blood. So let's see what he's going to do or they're going to do with it. Ah, uh, it's record ram time for our sword. Keep it locked down. Swing, swing, and I think run up grab is the most untackable grab in the game. Definitely, without a doubt. <laughs> Definitely. Like grab, grabbing a face, like that, that's manageable. But run up grab, no, no, no one's taking that. And that's the first. Would we'll make the cover the swift, then just go for it. Mm. They can just go for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, also for like the base damage. Oh, anyway, right. Here we go. Record time into Fukuro time, into record time, into Fukuro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lockdown, nice, and yeah, and that's gonna be a full combo. Oh, nice! Choose not to, to extend oh, the combo, nice no. grab. That throws. And that BRC just to stay safe. BRC. Ooh! With the grab, unfortunately, so. And, oh, and you can see that he gonna, waited for the end of the first hurt. animation so that the health deficit started before starting his offense. That's highly optimized and deals and helps deal even additional damage to uh 
to uh to Nagoriyuki. Good uh, good stuff from Goron right there. Optimize the. Oh. Oh. Yo, yo, you're gonna have to, you're gonna run out back, mate. Wait, if you wait for the the blood to start dripping before you rise, how start to go down before you attack, it does more damage. I, so, if you wait for uh, just a little bit for the health to start decreasing because of the blood burst. Then you can start your onslaught, and the blood burst will basically the, the blood burst uh, deficit damage will last longer basically than if you start right away. If, th this is my understanding. It starts a little bit before uh, the, the health deficit starts a little bit before the the end of the blood burst animation. So if you really wait until the extra end, you can deal a, a little bit more damage than if you just start hitting uh, him right away. That's my understanding from uh, the... Uh, I, I, no, actually, actually, when he's in Blood Rage, he has a fixed amount of health that, that is going to decrease. Like, even if he's still in combo and has his mask, his health will stop decreasing at some point. Okay. I always thought that if you waited a bit, then the health started de depleting, and then you can start hitting him, and it, then... It, the it end, actually, the he end. actually doesn't change. He, he, uh, what Goran wanted here is just... Um, Get his opening closer to the the corner to deal to yeah. manage to deal the the max combo. It might definitely be the the case. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is this is a learning stream. I like it. I like it. I'm learning. <laughs> Damn! Here we go. Just smash this face with his with his freaking sword. <laughs> that is the neutral button. Once once you got a, hundred, a gold burst, uh, the is always carried. Big Zara Miyuki oh, nice. right there to okay. go through the the swords. Very nice whiff punish on the two HS from uh, Shikara right there. Okay, here we go. This time around, Goron is trying to enter back, but gets picked out of the air thanks to Hikaru. Okay, here we go. Back to the neutral, who is going to hit the first. Okay, very nice aerial approach from Goron. He finds the opening, gets the Rekka right there. Romance Castle, unfortunately, the after Romance Castle, his next move whiffed. But that was a crazy, uh, a crazy uh, trade right there. I didn't quite understand which move traded with which move, but definitely did. Okay, finally Hikaru is forced to burst, and thanks to this brings Goron in the corner, delays the Roman cancels in order to catch his opponent off guard, but unfortunately, yeah, Goron was definitely on point right there. He, he tried to bait something, but yeah, Hikaru was patient. Actually, and here we go, the second hit of the Rekka finds the opening into the uh, sword throw and the death. Yeah, Goron definitely has good matchup knowledge playing Nagaruki. It's jumping out all the right times and I don't think it's been really caught in any jumping frame animations. Like, doing really well and, um, defensively, they all set for now. <laughs> oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> nah, the commentator's good. Here we go, the big wall break for the perfect. From Hikaru is staying alive right there. This is match point though, so Hikaru needs to bring to win this one absolutely if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. If not, he's going to fall in the losers. Very nice burst bait. The things are looking actually pretty good for Goron. Okay, here we go. The arrow uh, for, not for Goron for Hikaru and Goron found the aerial approach. Here we go. Very nice to read from Goron. How did he know that he was gonna grab him? Very very nice read from Goron. Really doing a good job at the. Like reading what his opponent is gonna do. Okay, here we go. He gotta really if he gets opened up, he still has the burst just to save his uh his life right there. But yeah, back to neutral. How are things going to go? One thing that Hikaru has had problems against Goron is determining when Goron was gonna jump on him. I can see several times where Goron was able to find the opening, but this time around Hikaru was aware. And <laughs> on to the fourth match. Let's see how it goes. Very nice whiff punish from Hikaru. Finds the opening right away. Gets the uh, big, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the uh, counter hit right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Rekka, the first hit of the Rekka to continue. Oh, you can see Goron really just alternating the uh, the timing at which he does the Rekka. Here you go. <laughs> jumping, 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 jumping. I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you breathe, man. You are eating my, not my pee, my, my punch. Here you go. Here we go into the wall break. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it sounded very good in my head, okay? It sounded extremely, extremely well thought out in my head. It didn't sound so good after I managed to say it with my mouth. Yeah. Exactly. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, wow, he got it really looking very much alive right now. Like he seems he was on the verge of getting sent to the losers bracket, but right now he's just 
shifting the situation like as if like it never really happened. So no, good stuff from him. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, very nice grab right there from Goran. Gonna get the opening. Okay, here we go. The onslaught of Ram in the corner. One of probably the scariest in the game. Okay, try to... I don't know what he really tried to do, but maybe catch him uh, out of the wall splat or something. I don't really know, but it kind of backfired, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Okay, no overhead right there from Goran. Oh, very nice IAD right there. Unfortunately, he couldn't connect the rest uh, once he found himself on the ground. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, from Goron again has he caught him in the corner, but he got was just managed to by some I don't know, some miracle he manages to six p out of it. Very nice stuff from him. Ooh, ah, here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, that yeah, the oh. yellow Roman castle was scary. Oh, and he read the oh the, the overhead. Very nice Aye. stuff from Hikaru, man. He takes it and sends the other one to the loser's bracket. Okay, here we go. Very nice aerial attack right there from Hikaru. Okay, again manages to sniff out this overhead. How did he do it? Damn, the reflex on this dude is like out of this world. Here we go, Rick. Rick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck your. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish this sentence. Okay, here we go. Good stuff from. You better good not. Good stuff from. No, I'm definitely not gonna say anything else. Okay, here we go. Oh, and he still gets picked out by the 6P of Hikaru. Of Nagori Yuki, if I have to be more specific. Very nice counter hit right there. Oh, and again, this is this guy, man. This guy. He uses 6P board than he uses Fukio or any other <laughs> move of, of, uh, of Nagori Yuki. It's crazy, man. Good stuff. Oh, the it big 5H is yeah, on just like this. He takes nice. it. And he's on match point just like this. Hikaru, who was down two games on the final round, makes it back. How did he manage to adapt so freaking quickly? This is crazy. Here we go, just keeping going on in the corner where he absolutely wants him, you know? Boom, here you go, the big six HS into the wall break and oh, don't just one clean hit. Exactly, clean hit right there. Is that Mariyuki? I'm keeping you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, it's still not over. Goron really didn't like me, like, rooting for Hikaru right there. And just like this, he brings it back ever so slightly. It's still not over till it's over. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, I see what he did there. He tried to bait probably the six, uh, the 6P, but again, Hikaru resorted to using the 2P and uh, not the 6P to entire the overhead. Oh, no. Okay, he doesn't have any bar of tension, and he just let this rip, and oh, thanks to the fact that he had two bars of attention, Goron stays alive. We Holy are on the final moly. round of the final match, ladies and gentlemen. This match is out of this freaking world. Zamari Yuki, I'm bringing you to the corner whether you want it or not. I don't care. Your opinion doesn't matter. Here we go, 6HS. Oh my god, here, oh, oh no, so oh. far, but so close, actually, so close, but so far he couldn't connect the... Oh, the uh, command grab, but it doesn't matter. He enters it with the close S and the command grab for the win. That Did you do your match against Kakiru Togo, by the way? Uh, not yet. It, okay. I think we're on the please wait for further oh, instructions. Oh, shite. Your do your there. match right away. Do your match right away. I'm sorry. Okay. Here you go. I'm sorry. No, no, my no, my no, bad, no, my no. bad. Okay, no. We'll get into it. <laughs> No, no, that's cool. Oh, no, 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 Just actually, don't do your match. Don't do your match. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Gumenasai, gumenasai. That's why I'm stupid. Gumenasai, gumenasai. Mada, mada, mada. Don't do your match. And uh, please commentate. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so where we at? Where we at? So, oh, Steven is uh, a bit of a damage, but Freya has uh, got the uh, heavy. <laughs> DP and that's gonna oh we just dropped in the last bit had a quick dust to finish out the round okay so Steven is uh one one round up here we go okay so let's see so we got soul versus soul the mirror match we're gonna see a lot of bandits bandit this bandit that <laughs> <laughs> bandit punch look at that counter hit <laughs> and the combo the damage yeah, soul against soul I like how you well. resume this so so accurately. <laughs> This is gonna be a saw match. And <laughs> it is bandit that. It was so accurate, man. It was so accurate. Okay, here we go. So one round apiece. Steven and player looking both very, very hot right now. Okay, here we go. Big Fafnir in your face. And Steven is uh, well, leading the onslaught and finds the opening with the close S, but.
player uh, resorts to using the burst to get out of this pressure. Oh my god, and just whiff punishes. And whiff punishes uh, the uh, 4S with another 4S, of course. What else? <laughs> okay, here we go. Big 4S in your teeth. Is Steven going to burst? Yes, he does at the absolute end of the combo, just to be sure not to be uh, burst baited because this is a common tactic, especially with Salt Play's very cheeky use of the 5k to, uh, to, well, to, to, uh, to punish the gaps in the, uh, yo, oh, and the very nice 6 results. But recent player has been grinding the game so much that he's probably be been filling this gap and just yeah getting closer and closer to the level of steven that with funny from the with the six hs was just crazy for a player where did he what what idea came to him to use this move at that particular moment but it works so th there definitely was a a reasoning behind it okay here we go very nice roman cancel he uh switches place with steven and oh here we go ah steven getting a little bit angsty right there very nice punish on the bringer uh, downfall, man. That was really good stuff from player, man. Extremely strong uh, performance from him. Ah, uh, okay, he's trying to... Wow, he's just trying to punish the... The, 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 the 4S with, uh, with, uh, 6HS. This is crazy, man. Especially since the 4S has such a quick recovery. I don't even know what, how he, he wants to do this. Good stuff from here. We go back to the neutral and Steven just run. Oh, nope, you don't. So, yeah. Oopsie daisy, you're gonna get. Ah, uh, you're gonna get. Ah, uh, okay, here we go. Steven this time around in very, very good positioning right there. He got player in the corner. Just. Oh, and here we go. Finally for the uh, grab in order to open his opponent up and seal the deal. I'm gonna go grab a uh, glass of water. I'll be back. All right, so I guess I'll commentate. I'll try commentate uh, this this time then. <laughs> Since he just left, like okay, let's go, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just take something like uh, I don't care. Right? <laughs> but, oh man, like during this time, Kudea is is going onto a um, really strong push. I managed to make the burst with uh, a perfect guard. That's gonna kill, right? Yeah, it's gonna kill thanks to the uh, hell of a lot on, uh, on Celestial, uh, on Celestial actually. So you can see it, like all of his effort have, uh, have, have, have uh, born results, you know? Very nice stuff from him. Okay, here we go. Just like this player, however, yeah, he forces the burst uh, from Steven, but Steven also managed to do the same with player. Very nice conversion from uh, from player. Ah, he went for the grab, but unfortunately Steven read it, but wasn't able to fully uh, punish it. He just jumped right after accurately, like uh, landing on him and punishing. Okay, here we go. Big 4S counter hit right there. Okay, Gunflame, you're staying there in the 6HS to punish him, to for, to forbid him from jumping out or pressing buttons. Very nice stuff from Clear, and just like this, he is on match point. <laughs> the 5HS trade, very nice stuff. Okay, big counter hit on the 5H and the 4HS. I'm sorry, the 4S right there. Oh, very nice stuff from Steven finding the opening, and just like this, red it, let it rip with the DP, but unfortunately gets caught by the. Ah, 4S from Steven, and Steven takes it, finally put- Oh, actually takes the, uh, the, the round, I'm sorry. Okay, still match point for a player. Okay, will we- will he be able to seal the deal? I speak way too much, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no, 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 you, you're, you're doing absolutely fine, like, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> trying to get some, like, last minute, um, practice in before I face my arch nemesis. <laughs> 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 the, the, oh my god, the, the eternal enemies, man. This is the, the legacy the legacy fight, man. Hakuru Togo against Hakuman, yeah. Definitely looking forward to this one as well. But just, as I say, this player is on the verge of losing this one and extending... Oh! Here we go! No, he's, he's gonna keep his... Oh, and he does for the win, that cheeky... In, uh, in this tournament. In, in, the, in, the, in the winner side, that is. Okay, here we go. Okay, big two, uh, big big far S uh, counter hit right there, again. Damn. Yeah. Oh, nice punish of. Uh, oh, it was a counter actually. Uh, the just guard, five K right after his opponent's far slash. 
was a good one. Yeah, nice pressure from Kudai. He has nothing yet. The good, uh, the good FD puts him away from his opponent's dust. Yeah, the player nice. went deep on this one. He went so deep <laughs> that that Steven thought he was gonna grab him, but instead he used the close S to open him up, and it just frame trapped him really. Good stuff from player. He went so deep. It was so crazy. Good stuff from him. Oh, here we go. The close, uh, the the far S counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, and he got the he baited the uh, DP, but fortunately for Steven, he had some bar to make it safe. Again, DP and again baited, but this time around, yeah, he was too far to have any type of conversion off of it. Oh my God! He just picked him out of the air, and this is gonna do, yeah. Good stuff from. This is the cryptic match. This is the match that always happens in the Bro Joke Up. <laughs> you will always have these two face each other at some point. Usually it's Kakiru yeah. to Wosan who wins, so we'll see if uh, Hakuman will bring adjustments this time around. Yeah, Hakuman, ha Hakuman like, uh, tried to uh, train a lot of his matchup and his execution, basically. So let's see if he's gonna... Um, Win, win a set like for once. Let's just hope he will. But for now, we, they, we got a pretty strong neutral in both sides. Yeah, nice punish from Kakebu Togo here with the 5k. And the 5k is really strong against uh, Giovanna Salpuente and other uh, and her other moves. Yeah, okay, managed to get a good punish here from Kakebu Togo with the far slash with the good combo. Is it gonna kill? It's gonna kill. Yeah! From almost full screen! Exactly. Good stuff from Kagetolo san, man. Very, very nice conversion. Okay, here we go. Hakuman was able to get the cross up and almost managed to. Yeah, almost managed to punish the uh, the, the burst right there, but yeah, he couldn't do uh, quite. Oh, that trade though. Ah, that was a big trade. Oh, here we go. Kagetolo san is on the onslaught, but. Hakuman finds the 6 speed like at, at, at some really weird timing, but very good stuff. And here we go, Kakiru san on point with the conversion. He drops the combo, unfortunately. And Hakuman will take advantage of it, possibly. No, he dropped the combo himself. <laughs> it's drop combo city. Oh, and oh, almost he conversion. Come on, Hakuman. Don't, oh, make, don't make me, don't make me, don't make me uh, hope for stuff, man. Oh. Hyper jumping. Yes, yeah. we noticed. <laughs> we noticed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Big uh, air jump in from uh nice one oh good punish for of the gun flame nice good oh that's a nice backdash and then the punish of the bird right there yeah is it gonna break the wall no it's not but he puts Ooh, it in the in a corner yeah it gets old bendy bringer he tried to six speed that bandit bringer is it gonna kill yeah the fact me up there's a lot of damage when stuck on the wall so yeah Exactly. There goes the first round for Kakeru Togo. That was huge damage right there, really just Kakeru Togo so I'm just going for the win with the Fafnir in the wall break. But here we are on the second round. Hopefully Hakuman will be able to bring some sort of adjustment, but right now things are looking pretty bleak for him. He gets Ooh, again Fafnir yeah. out of this world and half of his more than half of his life effectively gone right there. Here we go, the up down. Mixes, schmixes of Saul are definitely working very good right now. Here we go, Kakiru togo san on point with uh, canceling unsafe stuff. And oh my god, the guts on, on, on fighting Kakiru togo san that just makes him do all of this all the time, I think. Because seriously, uh, if you think about it... Uh, ah, okay, okay. Um, uh, Hakuman, who did, ah, Hakuman took out Zage, okay, not Hikaru, my bad. Okay, anyways, here we go. Hakuman. This is not strong because he's the he one is, he who is. won the last tournament, right? Oh, uh, I think it was uh, clear. No, 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 no. He was, he was pretty, but he was in grand finals. Definitely, definitely. In grand finals, I think. No, okay, here we go. Early That's burst it. from Hakuman. He's probably gonna. Yeah, nice. things are looking pretty good for him. He just needs the opening. Will he? Oh, okay, very nice stuff. Nice. Is it? Ah, shite. Too bad. Yeah, the it's ball fine. break. Yeah, it's fine, but it's still, fine. it was in a ball. Okay, very nice idea nice. right there from Hakuman. One. Finally takes one round. Good stuff. Keep it going. Yeah, it took, <laughs> it took a round like uh, five to go. Let's exactly. Go. <laughs> Here we go. You're almost there. Okay, okay. very nice stuff. Okay. Just goes um, after the bad yeah. from uh, from ha from Kakiru Togo san. Good stuff yeah, from Hakuman. That, and that comes from, uh, no grab on the Fafnir, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. The optimized combo Shmongo right there. This is gonna be a big 
amount of damage. Just like this half of his life entirely gone, man. Okay, on. Okay, he's not on the first. Oh, and he. Yeah, oh, what? he dies. Unfortunate. Oh, man. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty crazy. Ah, ooh, the big lag. <laughs> okay, very big jumping HS counter hit right there forces Akuman to. Nice burst. Yeah, to burst. Ah, and this is gonna yeah, be a big damage right there. Kakiru san really being extremely solid with it. I, it's, it's crazy, man. I think there's some sort of pride yeah. when they play against each other. They definitely don't want to lose against each other, I think. Seriously, that's how I think. Yeah, Very rivals. nice stuff. They're definitely rivals. The Good stuff. Exxon. Exxon san Pai. Not you guys thought. Okay, here we go. Big start of the round by Goron forces the burst from Kakeru san. A big air to air counter hit, but yeah, Kakeru san just wakes up and, and hits the uh, standing, the, the far S right there. Ah, but back to neutral, and this is the space that, of course, Ram players love the neutral. And here you go. But they, one thing they love even more is when they have you cornered, though. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Good stuff from Goran, really alternating between just hitting buttons and just, oh. you know, grabbing and stuff. And good stuff from Goran, opens up the uh, Kakeru Togo-san and gets the win. Yeah, Kakeru-san is just taking his time, trying, just trying to measure the space a little bit. Yeah, we go. Trying to get a whip punish in, I think, at the moment. Okay, oh nice PRC, just across in the space, good counter by Kakuru-san, and wall to wall. Yo, he... Kakuru-san has definitely lapped so many different uh, opportunities and um, positions of war. where he can like, get a full combo from. His combo game is always uh, point, yeah. great to see, on point. With that being said, yeah, yeah right that. there, it's, uh, it's starting to... Oh, okay, it's actually pretty close, like, health-wise. Here we go, YRC from Goron, and backdashes and just gets the grab for the win. Good stuff 17. From... <laughs> yeah, he's not messing around, man. He doesn't mess around, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, big 4S right there, counter hit from Kakeru Togo-san, gets the opening into a huge amount of uh, damage right there. You even got the burst bait. Okay, trying to punish with a 4 So again, the 6HS right there. Oh my god, the 6HS are just coming out from Kakeru Togo-san, but yeah. Goron is having none of it right there. Okay, he tried to, uh, yeah, get his, uh, his, uh, what's it called, his, uh, um, offense, like, going. Thanks to the 4S, here you go, he got Goron in the corner, but Goron just rips a, uh, standing <laughs> K out, and just Roman cancels it, and just like this, like, they switch position, and Goron is on the onslaught, and on the verge of taking this round right there. Again, the I don't know why he resorts to using the 6HS so much. It must be out. It must be lapped yeah. out. It must be like He was actually super smart from Goron here to have blocked that. Ooh, here we go. Big counter hit right there. Okay, nice pressure. Oh, nice it's the Yo, wall side, switch sides. Gonna get full combo, positive bonus, wall break. And uh, pressure's back on for Kakeru san. I just swing it. <laughs> Oh, a miss input right there, and again he gets. This is the second time he got a miss input and got the command grab to come out instead of, uh, I suppose, the bandit bringer. I guess I'm not quite sure what he wanted to do. But anyways, yeah, here we go, bandit bringer. Revolver. Oh, yeah, yeah, he wanted the revolver, not bring. And again the grab and the Gosh. and the uh, right there. If Takeru Togo-san doesn't find an answer to the onslaught, ah, uh, yeah, Takeru san really likes this six chance. Okay, he's using it to get the hard knockdown and then. Move in for the kill. Okay, very nice bandit break right. Oh, got the six H. You can see Kagusan is getting a little bit impatient. I think. Yeah, you can see that he's really eager to get in. Yeah, and Goron is just sitting there and with punishing everything that Kagusan is just throwing out. Oh, the oh no, no, he had it. Oh, okay, I'm just st sitting there. And... <laughs> ah. Okay, very nice. Cool. Stuff, bro. Very I think nice it's stuff. working. I think I think yeah. Kakeru, by throwing out this move of so the, the six HS, I think it 
It would tilt me, man. It would tilt me. It, it would throw my game plan off if the salt kept throwing that out. <laughs> like, Definitely. What is he trying to do? <laughs> yeah, me too. And like, big damage. It, and it's working, yeah. Oh, very big uh, the purple PRC right there from uh, from Goran. Managed to get the grab and ah. Ah, just like this, a perfect. And we're on match point actually. Because son, your tournament life is on the line. Very nice punish right there from you. And again with punish. Woo. He's playing like on God mode right there. He he enabled the uh, the Ultra Instinct mode right there. Good stuff from Kakuzu. Huh? Uh, okay, big damage right there. He tried to bait the. Oh, this was an unburstable. One, this two, was the fourth match right there. Will we see? Oh my God, he really likes his six HS. Ah, Kakuzu, you're starting to use this a little bit too often, I think. Yeah, right there. Golan definitely picked it. He picked up on it a little bit. Very big. For S counter hit right there, and no, okay, here we go shimmy this time around. He's really trying to bait the very nice stuff. He's using like unburstable setups right there to get the damage, to, to get guaranteed damage. The big six HS. Oh, very nice yeah. stuff. Damn, that was very convincing from from plan, bro. It must that, was, be. <laughs> uh, that, that was definitely that, that was really well played from him. I'm, I'm really really. I was on po Oh, here you go. You, you want to throw your sword around? I'm going to throw my two big giant ass sword around as well. Look at this, man. Ah, yeah, seriously. Goron also starting to get a little bit heated up right there. Doesn't like the way yeah. that Kagusan is playing. I can tell you. I can tell you. He doesn't yeah, like yeah, the way yeah. that Kagusan is playing right now. He definitely doesn't like it. Okay, here we go. Very nice uh, confirm on the um, on the red guy right there. Oh, here we go. Grab. And here we go. The schmixy, the, the pressure, the endless pressure of. Ah, uh, Ram! Ow! Oh, big 4S right there. Oh, but no, you don't have your sword. You don't have your sword. You can't hit. <laughs> oh, and just like this? Just like this, Kakiro san is gonna take it. Damn! Okay, here we go. Let's wait for the catch up. Okay, good neutral by. Well, both players just put, ah, nice sword for uh, Golutan, nice return for Kakusen, but nice XP in return. Yeah, both players playing a little bit, well, I was about to say a little bit more cautiously, but uh, Kakuru is still swinging. And is he going to get the wall break into super? Yes, and we're going to get the hard knockdown, positive bonus. Yo, Kakuru is, uh, is rolling his momentum at the moment, definitely. Oh, okay, just uh, the run-up bait for the uh, super, but... Um, Go on, 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 go for it, ah, but this time, ooh, the big lags right there. Oh, and the big six HS, <laughs> man. Oh no, and the wake up. Oh, and here you go. Oh, and the big, the, the heavy. How do you call this move again? I forgot. <laughs> the, 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 the big swing. The big swing. I can't keep it in my mind. The big swing. The big freaking swing. I can't keep it in my mind. Ça va bien, Kimi. Ça va très très bien, mec. J'espère que toi aussi tu vas bien, mec. Okay, here we go. And the vortex right there picks him up. Okay, Kakiru, you need to make something happen right now. Right now. Uh, okay, he tried to beat the burst, and yeah, good thing that Kakiru san didn't. Oh no! No! Oh Ooh. yes! Yes! Ah! Yes. <laughs> okay, good stuff! Good stuff! <laughs> Damn, man! The, the, okay, we're on match point, guys! This is final match of the final round! Well, the final round of the final match, actually. Okay, here we go! Ah! Oh my god, Yo, that DP! Oh my god, that, that DP hurts so freaking much! Oh. Kakiru is playing out of his mind, what is going on? No! No bad burst! Very bad burst! Very Ah, he's pressing too many buttons! Ah, uh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is gonna be gone. Oh, no, actually. Uh, okay, what's gonna happen? Oh, no! No, no! It's not over till it's over. Oh, okay! You go yellow Roman cancel. Oh, yeah, it's, it's probably over right there. It's probably over. Godon has a... Godon has a... Two bars, man. Oh, yeah. Ah! We have been wait, make, make. We have made these two players wait for so long. I'm sure they're really eager to play right now. Really eager to thread down and to, uh, to well, duke it out basically. Okay, here we go. So Steven against Takarin. Okay, start of the round. Takarin just trying to really snipe his opponent, keeping out. A very nice juggle from him. Immediately got him in the corner and even whip punishes him accordingly. Very nice stuff right there from Takarin. Doesn't hesitate to use the burst to try to keep his opponent, but unfortunately Steven is very nimble and refuses to 
just stay there and just says no no talk you will not keep me there ah, i don't know how you call this attack but unfortunately it was punished by steven very nice grab from steven i'm gonna continue the mix-up game Okay, here we go. Bandit Bringer and the DP to follow it up because he probably thought that Takani was gonna try to uh, get his uh, uh, his uh, turn back. Unfortunately, Takani was very, very, very patient and just resorted to blocking. Oh, the legendary tech <laughs> blocking. <laughs> exactly. <to> blocking. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised by how just blocking in certain situations can save you. Seriously. That's true. And there we go, big Tyrant Wave right there from Steven. And just, like, yeah, results... results oh, and he just takes it, man. Good stuff from him. Okay, one uh, rounds a piece. Let's see how it goes. Nice pressure by Tucker and Son. Just taking his time, just uh. Ooh, and Steven is doing a great job of actually making his way in on uh, on Takarin's axle, using the bandit bringer, dominating the air, managing. Oh, a nice bait for the grab as well. Yeah, still the health lead is pretty similar, but okay, look at that. Both players using the YRC just to create some space between each other, and that is going to be it. Uh, looks like Steven Good. takes the first. But... We'll be Seeing this, okay, so here we go. Raindrops, rainwater, rainwater. I remember the name, <laughs> rainwater. Uh, you did it, yes. rainwater. Uh. Yes. I remember that name. I really need to just sit my ass down, go on the sloop, and remember the names of the special attack of each, each, uh, each character, man. Anyways, here we go. Steven just keeping his opponent in the corner, very nice. 2D from Takarin ah, and a big uh, bandit bringer right there Ooh. to go over whatever Takarin was about to do. And here you go, just using the uh, far S to stagger his opponent and force him to block. Oh, and the DP man, oh, okay, and was accurately punished uh, by Takarin. Oh, here you go, bandit bringer again, yet again, and this time goes down. Very nice uh, stuff from uh, very nice low from Steven. That was sensei. Ah bon, c'est à moi. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so got the good pressure immediately sent to the corner from uh, from Steven. Takarin San managed to escape uh, from the pressure and but still has to burst to uh, get a good. Uh, good range, but like Steven doesn't care, he puts his opening right back in the corner. Nice dodge of the white throw here. Yeah, still the bandit bringer is blocked. Good pressure, nice. The revolver fast RC jet mash. Okay, and good stuff from Steven. He's on the verge of securing his way to the win, the loser semi final actually. Very big counter hit, unfortunately, since he already let the uh, far HS rip, he wasn't able to punish the burst. But still, nevertheless, he got some very decent damage on the board, on the verge of taking this round, by the way. But Takani still shows signs of uh, life right there. Tried to grab him out of the air, wasn't able to do so, but very nice stuff. He was able to punish the DP while Sol still being in the air. Okay, big bandit bringer counter hits. No follow up though, and, uh, even though. Oh, and again, the use of the very, very <laughs> useful uh, tech, which is the uh, bandit revolver into uh, Roman cancel into a um, up down uh, mix up, basically. Good stuff from Simon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I guess the big struggle. Well, Steven's doing a great job of getting in and just laying into the pressure, not really giving Takaden san a chance to really create some space, uh, which is probably... Yeah. Oh yeah, the onslaught that you for obvious reasons. It was like my favorite stage. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. Anyways, here we go. Moving on to the loser semi-final. This semi is going to be go down against even Steven. Here we go. Okay, it's right off the bat, a freaking bended ringer counter hit, and you even managed to uh, convert off of it. Very nice stuff from Steven. Here we go, you can see Golan trying to, uh, well, keep Steven in check by using the far HS, but unfortunately, like, Steven will have none of it and just IAD over it and punish him and bring Golan in the corner where he's currently.
smothering him, but thankfully Goran was able to get a grab and uh, switch places with him. Okay, here we go, we had the um, uh, the safe setup from Goran, but unfortunately was picked up by the uh, Bandit Bringer counter it, and wow, the big bag dash from Steven into death. Good stuff from Steven. Yeah, definitely tried to snatch him out the air. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, good, good back dashes from Steven uh, from the beginning, but good throws uh, from Goran from Goran here. Yeah, managed to get the full ram lethal combo. Decided not to go for the super in order to like, I guess, to get full meter. Nice blue RC. Yeah. Wow, that nice was convert. crazy. That was, that was a nice conversion out, out of the blue RC. This is going in the highlight. Yeah, definitely one of the tricky things with the BRC combos is that it really changes the flow of the characters. So it's really well played by Goran to like still catch um, Steven at the end of that. So well played. Um, yeah. Steven still still crying for his life. He's got a, hasn't got the health lead, but he's still blocking the schmix. Oh, uh, whoa, what, what, what? Yo, ram, ram the grappler, ram the grappler. PPP, PPP to finish. No, nice bandit bringer, bandit revolver, bandit flame, bandit punch, <laughs> the bandit. <laughs> he participated in this tournament, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, oh, that was a nice triple kick. <laughs> I'm going here. Nice combo. That's the optimized combo that we we saw uh, earlier. Yeah. Okay, Sabro Bato to break the wall. Gonna replenish his meter. Ah, I didn't get the the, the DP to reach, but it, but never mind because it's, it's gonna kill thanks to the uh, sword explosion. Like, it, like he just threw the, the sword. He just, yeah, yeah. He just he just threw the, the sword and we, there was like hey, I'm just going to wait. <laughs> oh, cold. Oh, cold. <laughs> yeah, heavy DC, bro. Nice combo. Can I break the wall again with a heavy slash? So it's already pretty quick. Uh, th this round is pretty quick actually because it's already uh, almost done from uh, Goran's side. Yeah, but still, Steven has his burst. Maybe he's gonna use it. Okay, yeah, nice. nice good one. Yo, yeah, uh, I think uh, initially it was to bait the burst, but uh, in the end he was like, nice, that's gonna burst there, so I'm just gonna continue. And that, that was a, that was a, a good choice. Uh, now, uh, here he's gonna have to burst because. because He's not, he's got no else so anymore. Wow. Like, yeah, like, Goran yeah. takes the second match as well. And just, and we are on, uh, yeah, on the uh, potential, um, well, set, uh, how do you call it? The, uh, the final, on the potential final match of this set right there. Match point. That's a potential match point. Yeah, mm. that's match point, actually. Is it match point? Because match point, I always thought it was the absolute last, uh, round, not the, uh, not the match itself. But Wait, ma uh, not quite uh, right. yeah, we can, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> the, that is a set, set point. point. Set, point, point, right? set point, right? Set point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, set point. Here you go. And that now we're on the match point. point. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Perfect. We're, we got it. We got it. Perfect. <laughs> I need to get this. We discuss about this. Like our uh, round has already passed. You know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's so cool. Well, it, well, it's only to be. It's only normal with two characters with that much high of a damage output as a you know uh, solid. Uh, Solid Ram. As you can see, Goron just standing there and waiting to react to whatever Steven is about to do. His movement is really... it's so crazy. You can see him like this running and then using the empty just to stop his uh, his momentum. Really crazy. Very good. So, oh, and this is going to do. Well, it's a pretty intense match, I think. That player has been so strong, though. I don't even know if he's... there's anybody who's going to be able to defeat him. Like, to be honest, player is really, really, really strong. So, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okie dokie. Okay, started around 5k from Hikaru into the Beyblade. Right away, he finds an opening. Forces player to burst right there. Ooh, a big counter hit right there from player on his 4S and immediately forces Hikaru to burst himself. This is like a hit and run all the time. It's been a hit and run ever since the start of this round. Okay, here we go. Finally, player gets inside. Forces Naguriki in the corner. Gets a grab, another grab right there. Grabs Schmick's time. Okay, this time around uses a close S in order to mix things up. 
Boom. Catches. He called pressing button or trying to get out of the corner. Oh, very nice slow right there and takes it with the underground 6HS. Very nice stuff from player. Oh, there we go, the onslaught of Hikaru really trying to maintain and keep player in the corner. Very nice 6HS. Player has a very hard time to get out, but thanks to the Bandit Bringer kids to change the jump arc of his jump and uh, basically punish any attempts of Hikaru to try to uh, entire him. Oh, here we go. 5HS is blocked. No follow-up. Oh, your very nice Beyblade counter. He gets the follow-up and takes player in the corner. Okay, again. Oh, and even oh, grabs him out of his 5k, man. This is crazy. Good stuff from uh, from Hikaru. Evens things out. This is one round piece. Damn, here we go. The mash. It wasn't really a mash, but very nice uh, standing P to uh, keep player in check. Oh, that with punish on the 5HS was godlike again. He also almost got it, by the way. Very nice back dash. Punishes the throw attempt from player right there. Good stuff. Okay, keeps things in, in check using his 4HS. Okay, you can see that he delays a bit his... Uh, oh, very nice wild throw from player. And just like this, thanks to a trade... Like two two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Technically. But, but yeah, I, mean, I know, I know, I know. I know. He won the last one yeah, though, I, so technically I, he's the Broadway yeah, champion I mean, right Chikaru, now. Hikaru is a, is a damn good player. Oh, he is, he is. And also, also I, I don't want to rant, but he plays Nago, right? <laughs> 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 yes, uh, Exxon, Exxon it's loves fine. Nagori Yuki. It's, it's his favorite, it. his love, favorite character. I love Nagori Yuki. He's my favorite uh, character. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tyrant uh, Rage. Anyway, here goes the full, the full conversion. Oh, gonna break the wall. The, the super, the big Tyrant Rave. And it's almost nice uh, YRC, but put that over here. Like, oh, nice. Thanks to the fast RC right there. That was nice. Just like this, uh, player manages to steal one round right there. Okay, very nice whiff punish on the 2HS right there from player. Good stuff. Okay, here we go, Bandit Bringer. Uh, thankfully for player, it catches uh, Hikaru out of the air and therefore makes it completely safe. Plus, plus a mock. Okay, here we go, he forces the burst from Hikaru and we're back into neutral. If such a thing exists between <laughs> these two characters. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And, uh, wow, <laughs> very nice burst uh, very nice. away as well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, a big start of the round with a 6P by Hikaru. Really not afraid of just throwing it out, man. It's crazy. I think Hikaru has been using 6P so often. It's been working so much, so much for him. Okay, very nice just block on the Beyblade by player, but a bad burst. Hopefully it was a little bit too far for Hikaru to try to do anything about it. Ah, very nice jump back into the, uh, I think it was jumping HS, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, no, it wasn't. It's actually the S, yeah. Okay, very nice HS counter hit right there. He couldn't get the conversion with the Ooh. Vortex, unfortunately. Ah, and this time around, he kind of gets the conversion, escorts his opponent in the corners. Oh, and the 6 HS, a little bit too... Oh, was that a... <laughs> that looked like a teabag, <laughs> but it's not. it's not. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. It's not. It's not. Player doesn't teabag. He doesn't, so... He was probably uh, just probably buffering, buffering. A, a DP. He was definitely buffering a DP yeah. there. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> it, did, it did look a little bit strange, That's though. Vortex! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, he's gonna get the win on this one. Good stuff. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, you go Bandit Bringer on block. And uh, I'm gonna go take a uh, quick uh, glass of water. We'll be right back. All right. All right, so get the good pressure uh, on the corner from Priya. Yeah, the second Hikaru has his burst, he is forced to use it because Soul's pressure is like so dense, he cannot do anything without it. Okay, so the Bandit Bringer will not stick on the wall, but the next opening will, and it's gonna give the That's match. Uh, talking about the, the song with the eagle. Ah, no, no, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It's, not. it's uh, the extreme from, uh, it's the background music that's playing right now. 
It's a uh, remake right. from it's a remix from the Final Fantasy VIII uh, song, The Extreme. I love the song, by the way. Anyways, uh, okay. here we go. Big uh, pressure from Hikaru. Definitely not willing to uh, lose this. Oh my God! The 5 H S punish on the no. on the on the gun flame, man. That was crazy. But he needs to be a little bit careful with his blood gauge right there. Okay, it's going down ever so. Okay, it's going down pretty good. Oh, and here you go, just the, the run up to try and catch the back dash of Hikaru. It works perfectly for Flair. Good stuff right there. Oh, and the jumping S, man. The counter hit on it, he was able to get a follow up. Okay, forces the burst and just like yeah. this, he takes it. That was a huge 5 HS oh. right there, 4 HS. Good stuff. Uh, Nagabuki's 5 is always so brutal, and it cuts through the flame. It's got so many great properties as well. It's a really great tool for fighting against characters like Leo as well. Definitely. Um, but definitely Fair is uh, laying it not very happy with what just happened here, and he's going to try and make a nice counter, like nice 5k. Pressure on. Oh, mm. nice counter here. Maybe into Super to get the wall break as well. Don't think it's going to kill. No. Uh, pretty close, hard knockdown, that's what the Oki is. Nice face down. <laughs> oh, I'm done. That read on the <laughs> freaking... Ah, oh, damn it. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I really thought you got the out. first... I thought you got the first round. <laughs> ah. This is a um, game set, actually, for the... Uh, yeah. Out. But Hikaru is uh, not going to make it easy for him at all. Nice PPP into the stuff. Maybe a, not enough to get a wall break. Oh, nice 5k response. Nice 5k. It's always a response. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice RC into the air at the um, empty high into a nice low. Oh, nice jump off. And Hikaru. Yeah, he thought Hikaru was about to burst here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is really tight, and that's going... Oh, no, oh, no, no, he had it! He had it! Oh my god, Hikaru, if he doesn't yeah, take yeah, this one, he's like, gonna be so angry. If he doesn't take this one, he, he's gonna be he, so he, angry! He know. Oh, there! Yeah. Ah, that's, that's damn over. it. And yeah. Otaku wa iranai. Yeah. Mm. Not yeah, otaku wa iranai. At first, I also thought otaku that he said, like, uh, <laughs> otaku wa otaku wa iranai, but I, actually, it's gotaku. Ja, dare mo sol tsukai nai nja. Sore yattara. Nobody can use soul if he says go otaku wa iranai. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, so here comes the, the run back against uh, uh, from for Goran against Hikaru because they already faced each other during semifinals and uh, Hikaru won three to two. So Goran might have his revenge right now. It's uh, but for now it's like really not. It, it's not. It's not probably in good shape for that because Hikaru got the super to break the walls. He can kill. No, it's not. But he dealt a lot of damage. And yeah, remember that uh, Nagoriyuki can deal cheap damage with his normal, which is completely broken, <laughs> and that allows him to take the first round. Immediately goes for the the, the high pressure on. The <laughs> on the <laughs> man, it's like commentating whilst having a little hack at Nagoriyuki. Yeah, Exxon is definitely yeah, not biased. I, 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 I love Nagoriyuki. You know that. <laughs> oh man, look at that! Like, like that damn, damage. the like, damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Fukio into right away the Beyblade and finds his way to Goron. Good stuff. Wow, oh, the big counter hit on the Beyblade yet again. Okay, Goron not afraid to just move forward and press uh, standing. S ah uh, ah. Uh, uh, Goron really afraid to press button right, right now. I feel. Ah, uh, just like this, man. Look at the life of Ram. Where, where, where did it go? Where, where did the where did the life of Ram go, man? <laughs> so crazy. I think uh, he got his definitely got some momentum again. Oh no, well, Ram did have a good round start, but yeah, Ooh, he uh, is definitely laying it on. Ooh, and the big Into command the rib right there. Oh. Oh, Mr. Throw! Yeah, I, I wonder why Goran always likes to uh, punish, punish a throw with a throw. 
ビブリティ呼びます。えっ、ー、と、その、西洋人、西洋人というか、英語で、弁明の方が、なんか、えっ、ー、と、言いやすいんだね。<笑> There are so many misheard lyrics in this, in this game. It's really crazy.、Yeah. Like, you know, I hear her say, like, uh, how about it's in French, so it's not as funny if I say it. But, anyways, I hear her say so many dumb stuff, like, seriously. Anyways, here we go. So, Hikaru already has gone on in the corner, and you can see very, oh, he just. He just saw right away when she was going for the overhead. Good stuff, and he's gonna get the kill. This, this yeah, lasted yeah, what? Not even、talk. 10 seconds? It lasted 10 seconds. Not, uh, 9, 19 seconds.、Uh, okay. 19 seconds, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn.、Oh. It's crazy. It was so quick. Ah, and the big counter yeah, hit right there, Ariel. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Finally, Goron gets a favorable sequence right there. Gets some decent damage in. Ah. Oh, okay, and the wake up DP,、oh, nice. not DP, the reversal. Very nice block from Hikaru. Good stuff from him. Oh, oh very nice. Oh, that, that nice was、burst. good awareness from Goran. Just like this, he's gonna take this round staying alive. He's staying alive right there. Game round. <laughs> Oh, damn, this was a big counter hit, though. This is gonna do so much damage. Oh my god, where is your life、oh, going on? Where did your life go? Where did your life go, Ram? <laughs> It vanished. <laughs> damn, Let's get to his drive. Oh my lord. <laughs> My lord, man. Ah, and here you go. He went for the command grab, but Goron actually read it for some sad ram noises. <laughs> exactly. Damn, that was really. Okay, go. Give me my revenge, quick, quick! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time! <laughs> okay, here we go. Yay, perfect. Got it. Oh, nice combo right there. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Both, both players. Yeah, I think. And here we go、um, back to the neutral. Both opponents have very few life left right there. I think that player is buffering for the、uh, cemetery. The,、uh, the, 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 his overdrive, the one which、uh, grabs the opponent from the other side of the p l a n e t Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think he's buffering it. That's why he, he, it, it seems like he's doing like a、like、teabag. <laughs> If, okay. this, if this hits,、mm. actually, this might be really, really cool. Yeah, the flow went here. I like, the, the I like this setup from, from Kurea, like doing a bringer, then 2k OTG, then、mm. right after doing a Fafnir that will hit on meeting. If the opponent presses a button, he's getting a big counter hit. Yeah, right. Fortunately for him, Hikaru is really patient, managed to land a good 6p. <laughs> The, ho the holy 6P against Soul. <laughs> yeah, good pressure from, from Kuda. He doesn't, he, he doesn't Ooh, want to let his opponent、hit. go out、yeah. the corner, but yeah, Hikaru had the good read right there. He saw the wall, saw the, yeah, the hole, sorry. He saw the、oh. hole, so just he could、uh, mash a super. That was, that was the right guess. Ooh, very、so、nice, nice on the ground right、stage. there. Even on OTG, the six,、uh, the 6H deals a lot of damage. Exactly, it does, man. His life like, vanished right after him. Okay, here we go. Hikaru on the onslaught right there. Player not committing to、uh, pressing any button right there. He tried to get out of the corner and look what it happened. Okay, very big dust right there. This is gonna do a、Whoa. lot of damage. Finally bursts. Oh, here we go. Yeah,、uh, you can see Hikaru like trying. Oh, okay, very nice. Nice smash right there. Nice abare. To try to keep player out. Bandit Bringer couldn't reach its.、Uh, oh, and very nice air grab that air grab was. Basically,、oh、he has three more matches to win. If you.、Uh, four, five more matches to win. I, I suck at math. Five more <laughs> matches to win if he wants to win the tournament. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. My days. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Beyblade in on whiff. Not punished by player. Okay, here we go. Player finally manages to. 
Connect some, ah, some, some, uh, well, some, some normals right there. Unfortunate. Oh, the burst was baited. This is gonna do a lot of. This is death, actually. Damn. He caught you on the Whoa. on the freaking wreck train wreck right there. Good stuff for him, man. Oh, not train wreck actually. This is not a train wreck. He's on a uh, onslaught. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna stop speaking for a bit. I need to collect my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bulldozing train at the moment, like, Hikaru is only going forward, not exactly. taking a step back. Exactly. Yeah, look at this. Good FD reaction. FD is gonna move nice. Yeah, 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 Look at that. Yeah, no that's more a damn no good beat. reaction. What the hell was that? Damn, oh, and it's already dead! Damn, that was so... So, on to the potential uh, set points. Okay, Zamare Yuki. <laughs> hey, what's the Beyblade? What's the Beyblade called, bro? Kamuri Yuki. Eh? Kamuri? The Beyblade? The Beyblade is Kamuri Yuki. Ah, Kamuri Yuki. Ah, so ne. Ah, ja, Rasneru san, gomen nasai. Zamari Yuki wa Beyblade ja nakte, Kamuri Yuki ga Beyblade desu ne. Ah, de, ah, kore Kamuri Yuki wa Beyblade So, 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 so. Ah, kore gomen ne. Ah, kore Kamuri te yomu ka. Zamari ka to omotta no yu. Zarame, Zarame. Zamare, Zamare Yuki. See, it's, it's, it's like it's like you say Zamare kono baka. Ah, ah, concept like Zamare, you know? Yeah. The concept is six HS, right? Eh, the concept is a baby, not a baby. Eh, to Rasnel san. Concept is six HS, they say. They say. Beyblade Kamuri Yuki. Kamuri Yuki. Beyblade is Kamuri Yuki. So, 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 so. And Zamare Yuki is Clone. Zadame, Zadame. Zadame. Fuck my life. Look at that. The match is already finished. Yeah, really? So, 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 so. So, 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 you should so, so, so. not just yeah. tell people this is the only meaning of DP in English. <laughs> <laughs> DP, yeah. <laughs> okay, very nice 2S right there from Hikaru trying to check player. But really, right there, Hikaru is really on the verge of resetting the bracket. He's really on the verge. Mm. Let's see how it goes. Very big Hikaru jumping HS really counter hit right there. Oh, here okay, we go. D Beyblade on block. Oh, here okay, we go. 6 HS. Okay, really just resorting to use- oh my god, the chick. Oh yeah, right there, just one more and we're going to see a reset unless oh, clear. Man, uh, Ikaru's neutral is so insane! Ooh. Like even for the man who would use the screen, exactly, that's exactly. not possible. It's, it's a nonsense, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a nonsense. <laughs> Okay, good stuff. Here we go. The Beyblade catches the backdash of player and right away he got to has player exactly where he wants it. In the corner, Bandit Breaker right there on block. Fortunately for Hikaru, he couldn't punish it. A big 4S counter hit with the conversion that goes with it. Ah, unfortunately the 6HS couldn't find it smart and gets slightly punished. Oh, the big burst punish and bait. Well, bait and punish by player. Oh my god, and <gasps> did you oh, see the walk? walk? That walk and just walk. boom, the forest <laughs> in your guts, man. That, that was pretty good. That was really good from player. Good stuff from him. Ah, this is so intense, man. Yeah, it's so intense. Like, they. You've got. We've got very, very strong plays on both sides. Definitely. Uh, on the screen from from both mm. players. Ah, that big I mean, five like, H. Oh, nice five H. Yeah, you're going back 
to the corner. <laughs> what are you doing? Why, why are you going out of the corner? Get back there, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice dust. What are you doing? Open, thanks, to the, to, thanks to the RC getting the wall break. The next opening will be the death of Prudia. I think it's the very first time I saw. Nice smash! Oh, mm -hmm. nice that smash! That match was pretty good. Like that. Yeah. She kind of gets so I angry when actually... you get out of the corner. Like, seriously. Yeah. He gets so I think angry. It's actually the, the very first time uh, I see Prudia in, in losers. I mean, in resets. <laughs> Ooh, ah. It's the first time, right? I, I don't nice. know. I quite don't know. But... Yeah, we go. Nice. Now you're going back to. Now you're going to the corner. Nice, Puria finally got a good opening, good uh, clean hit thanks to the uh, H HVV. Yeah, that, that that's only right. HVV. Ooh, the right. Ooh, the burst, man. Immediately, yeah. yeah, so that he's sure to keep uh, the pressure. Nice bounce. Ah, yeah, and stuff. the 6S is gonna catch the player, because if you recall during the previous set, Shikaru did exactly the same thing to Blair. Okay, Big Fukyu got caught wow, up by the, the 4S. Wow, what Yeah, the... <laughs> Clear, not afraid to just run and press buttons. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Ah, uh, uh, again the tea bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's definitely not like clear to do this. Like he's he's definitely buffering something. Wow, that six P though. Oh, that six P is so good. Okay, here we That's go. That's right. Ooh, cut the back dash. Nope. Denied. Uh, <laughs> quite, quite patient at the moment. Oh Just, my god. Uh, waiting for an opening. There we go. And that's the cut of his time. Oh, and the command yeah, grab. That cheeky nice. command grab. Good stuff from uh, from uh, Shikaru right there. Ah, that 2P into the Beyblade into the... Oh, the 2HS counter. This is going to do huge amount of damage. Yeah. Half oh. of your life gone. Bye-bye. Mm. For yeah. Soul, this is a <laughs> lot of damage, man. Uh, I'm afraid, not afraid to just run, run forward, man. Not afraid of getting hit by anything, like a, a random 5HS or anything. Okay, Beyblade. Ooh, that too. That that for S. Oh, this is actually gonna kill. Yeah, of mm, course he had to. Bad. One more hit, he would have done. He would have been killed. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Press a button. Press a button. Press a button. Oh, Vortex, you did. Put down your sword, put down your sword. Exactly. I'm, I'm gonna send the, the clip right there, it's so funny. Here you go. Hmm. Okay, big start of the round right there from player. I, he tried, he, he was going for the reset with his gun faint here. Yeah, because the gun flame. Nice pressing the 6P, oh. the holy 6P, of course. That, the, the thing that will make, the, make you win the soul matchup. Uh, he kind of knows it pretty well, right? Yeah. Nice wire speed there. Immediately go for oh, the nice. nice punish of the 5k here. Yeah, going for the bringer. Oh, that was a risky one, but he managed to hit. Yeah, unfortunately, the gunplay won't link after the 6s. Still going for the pressure. This jump page was quite nice, though. Okay. Okay, he likes... He's going for, for a lot of... He's going for a lot of bringer. He wanna make his opponent down like after his bringer if I, if he will like do his DP or not. And every time he was uh Hikel was doubting. Okay, 6P right after uh Ooh. the save the Kamuri Yuki <laughs> <laughs> The Beyblade. Ooh and the big grab right the there they're gonna hurt. Oh nice grab in, in the Fafnir. Ah, okay, the reverse grab right there. here, yeah, grab. Now back into the corner. I grab you back. You grab me. I grab you back. What you gonna do? All right. Yeah, the the famous revolver. Full conversion out of a revolver. That was pretty nice. Okay. And again, the burst to keep him in the this. corner. Oh, he could have won right there. Yeah. He, he didn't mm. see he could break the wall with the super. He could have killed. Ooh. Actually, nice one for his opponent to use the burst. The next oh, this is yeah. 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 And player on the bird. So let's see how it goes. Okay, a big for S right now. Oh, and here we go. The Kamuri Yuki. <laughs> Don't counter it. Good stuff. <laughs> I got it. I need to I need to use the real the real names, you know. Because, yeah, if you don't, I, I'm going to forget them again. And, nice and Zarame Yuki, yeah, oh. here you go. Zarame Yuki, yeah, that's it. We, 
he must take care though because Buddha is too far here. Oh, that that may kill actually because the scaling is pretty uh, is pretty low. Oh, so maybe no, it's not it's not gonna kill, but still uh, deals a lot of damage. Buddha has four like meters, so Hikaru can be can be uh, really patient in this oh, so far. Case, but he doesn't care the jump S. The jump S hits so far, man. It does, man. It's so crazy. Okay, go back to neutral. Okay, he got it looking pretty good right there. He got the life lead. He got the burst. Okay, fishing for something, trying to whip on it, but unfortunately, I get far est by the, uh, well, by salt. Okay. Oh my God! How does it hit? How does it hit so freaking far? Okay, here we go. Player really on the outside right now. Okay, very nice six p. Oh my. Ah, very nice counter hit. Two s right there. Okay. Oh, okay, he's got, yeah. Oh, and you, you dead. <laughs> okay, good, good stuff. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so starting with the 5P right there into the uh, Kamuriyuki. And again, the Beyblade on block this time around gets hit by the uh, Far S and counter hit, but bursted right away. He got to. Oh, okay, here we go. Far S again. A big 6HS uh, on hit. Very good. Definitely. Oh, finally he gets the burst Ooh. from player and the counter hit on the jumping HS. Here we go. Yeah, Hikaru is looking pretty good right there. Okay, Zamaruyuki. Z Zaramayuki. <laughs> okay, I, I corrected myself. And the command grab. Okay, here we go. Tournament point for Hikaru. What is going to happen? Is player going to finally lose? Oh, the big counter hit right there on the 4S. Oh, and he grabs the Fafnir, man. Reaction grab on the Fafnir. Oh, here we go. Oh, things are looking very good for Hikaru. He gets the dust and cancels in the Roman cancel. Here we go, the 6 HS for the uh, wall break. Hikaru is smelling blood right there. Oh, he's smelling blood! Oh, he almost got it. If he got the second bar of blood, this would have connected. And deep command grab for the win! And you're...